Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Simmer Kitten here and I hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs> Today I am building a Shire inspired house. It's going to be a pretty tiny house. It's just meant for one sim or a couple. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, it's inspired by the Shire from The Lord of the Rings and uh, it is also kind of inspired by uh, a lot of old English homes or British. Uh, <laughs> my boyfriend is British and I've gone to see uh, his family in England and I've seen his childhood home and <laughs> it's just a cute little old, or not that little, but <laughs> an old English home with like these kind of roofs like that I'm using right here right now and I don't know, I just thought it was a really cute house, so this also gave me inspiration for this build. Anyway, we are going to put a lot of lot of plants or like greenery, like grass and all kind of little bushes on top of the roof. So I'm just gonna start off by saying that I made these tiny half walls on top of the uh first floor here because uh during the build it seemed like if I didn't put that little wall here there when I went back downstairs or like in the build you could still see the greenery and it would like block off your whole view so that didn't really make much sense so then I just added those little walls there and that made it be like in the second floor so when you go to the first floor you can't see all that grass there come here little prim my cat's being <laughs> a little silly one Anyway, so that's why we added those little walls there and I try to hide them with the bushes as well so you can't really see them. I mean, they're a little bothering, but <laughs> I think they're okay and I really didn't want it to be like if you went into the first floor, you would just see green everywhere. Okay, I just had to take a little break to let my cat out of the room. <laughs> anyway, we are using this wallpaper from Get Together that is used a lot in Windenburg and I thought Windenburg would be the perfect city to put this uh, house in and I actually am building it in a lot in Windenburg that I think would be the perfect lot to just use this house at and I'm using a lot of these big rocks around the house or they're actually like benches and chairs that I think came from uh, outdoors game pack but yeah I think they just make it look like the little shire is not just a house it's like inside like a little forest and a lot of rocks in I don't know I don't know how to explain it but I think it made the house look really cute and like it was in the nature. <laughs> uh the inside of the house is going to be really really cluttered. I used I just filled everything with anything I could find. <laughs> I used so many paintings and mirrors and clutter items and you'll see it's really colorful and really really um funny. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's really really fun to look at and I think it was perfect for perfect for this kind of a house it gave it a really nice vibe and I don't know like I don't really remember how the Shire looks like in the Lord of the Rings but I, I think the hobbits might have some <laughs> clutter and mess around so that's what I decided to do here and I'm also adding these little gnomes because I thought they worked perfect because kind of like little hobbits. <laughs> I'm just adding a few at the front and a little bare one at the back as well. We're going to make a little lake at the back from the fountain tool, like a little nature, like non-artificial lake, like a nat natural lake, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. And yeah, I spent a lot of time doing the outside of this house because I just wanted it to look perfect. I know it's very tiny, I might make a bigger one at some point, like a really big shire <laughs> but I just wanted to start out small to see if I could really fill all the roof with this greenery and all the grass and just make it look like like it was grown <laughs> grown grown in grown I don't know overground yeah <laughs> like it was a very very old house that uh is kind of like camouflaged in the nature as well because you can't you can't really see that it's a house because it's just there's just so much like grass and even a tree growing on top of it so it's kind of like uh, uh what's the word like i don't know just like blended into the nature <laughs> anyway the inside is just going to be one big area that has the kitchen the living room 
tiny area and the dining table and then there's going to be one bathroom and one bedroom and I really love the bathroom that I <laughs> did here uh, it's uh it's kind of it's kind of like an outdoor bathroom but not really but I used like the brick wallpaper or like the broken brick wallpaper I don't know that came from uh I don't know did it came from get together no actually I had no idea right now <laughs> but and I also used like the stone stones on the floor as well like the tiles or whatever they are so it made it look like it was part of the outdoors <laughs> and I think it's really nice looking uh, if you want to download this house I will put it on the gallery and you can find it under my username SimmerKittenYT or under the hashtag SimmerKitten <laughs> and tell me in the comments if you like this kind of build and I don't know I've been stuck building a lot of modern because it's just what I know how to build best but I'm kind of like <laughs> exploring all of this kind of old and like more traditional style as well so tell me in the comments if you like this build and what kind of builds I should do next if I should continue with this or if I should make like a really big Shire inspired build or what do you think I should do anyway here is the little uh, natural pool or natural little lake because I used the fountain tool I think so you can't really swim in it <laughs> yeah yeah it's really shallow so it's just a little fountain uh little lake area <laughs> I don't know, I just think it went really well with this house as well and uh, I think I finished off the outdoors area or like the landscaping right in the end but uh, they were going to move on to the indoor soon. <laughs> Here I had huge trouble trying to put this stupid little um, gnome in and I couldn't put it on top of the stone so I just ended up putting it <laughs> right next to it. Uh, what's my, my video is lagging a little bit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm just adding a lot of greenery everywhere and just making it look like part of the, I don't know, like the wilderness. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, we're going to move indoors right now and i um, putting lights in. And I'm using that little chandelier as well because, I don't know, I just think it goes really well with like old builds <laughs> or old-fashioned old themed builds as well and the kitchen is going to be in that little nook right there it's going to be a pretty big kitchen actually not like a super tiny one and then there's just going to be a tiny table and the like living room area there's just a couch and the tv basically so yeah we're starting over with the kitchen like i always do and we're using these dark counters this time oh yeah and this wallpaper <laughs> i don't know i've never really used that one before because it's a bit yeah, it's old fashioned, so I guess it goes really well with this build. It has those cute little flowers. I thought it would be really good for like the Shire. <laughs> so that's what we're using. And yeah, the kitchen is just this dark wood color as well. And but it has a pretty modern fridge and a sink as well. And it, the the stove is actually this more old looking one. <laughs> and then I just. Uh, a bit from now I add a lot of clutter everywhere and it's just a really really cute kitchen in my opinion <laughs> and I use a lot of rugs as well to make the place look really cozy or seem really cozy as well and I don't know what kind of sim would you make to live in this house <laughs> would you try to make a little hobbit or would you make a little couple or like a nature loving sim I don't know that's something that I would someone who I would think would enjoy this house and there's a little door to go to the backyard as well, and in the backyard there's not that much stuff. There's the uh, natural lake there, or the pond, and then there is just, um, I don't know, a few seating areas. <laughs> I just, this whole uh, field is kind of small. I just, I was just experimenting and seeing what I could do, and I actually really, really love this field. So it's like one of my favorites I've ever done, and I really yeah, like I said, the bathroom is really nice and I like how it looks from the outside, the whole build. So, and I'm just really happy with it. <laughs> if you like it, please leave a like on this video so I know you also like this little Shire inspired build. And you can also subscribe to my channel. I post daily videos, although now I've started my new job, which I do all day. <laughs> so we'll see if I can post every day, but I will do my best to do so. But I do like to do voiceovers on my videos and that's what 
I don't really have time to do. <laughs> so that's why sometimes there might not be uh, videos every day because I don't want to post a video with just music because I don't think that is very like pers personal. I don't know it. It feels more personal to me if I do a voiceover and I don't know. I prefer watching builds with voiceovers anyway. Uh, here we were already added a lot of paintings on top of the dining area and we're just adding a little cl clutter everywhere and uh, this uh, is gonna be the living room area with I already added the TV as well <laughs> and the really colorful couch that came from movie hangout and then we're just adding lots of plants lots of really colorful paintings and mirrors and just <laughs> making the whole house be really cozy but really cluttered as well there's not that much space to move and there's gonna be a bookshelf and an easel as skill building items in this build. And I was just using <laughs> all these pa uh, paintings and pictures that I thought were old looking <laughs> or like old fashioned looking. Uh, yeah, and I don't know. I just, oh yeah, the rugs as well. <laughs> don't don't want to forget about the rugs. I think they are also to give the whole house a really like cozy vibe as well. And I add the rugs in the bedroom I think as well and the kitchen uh, tell me in the comments what kind of house I should build next because like I said I really don't know I'm open for all ideas and I could build another shire one or I could just build anything you guys would like to see so if you have any ideas or something you would like to see me build just tell me in the comments because I would love to just build what you guys want to see <laughs> anyway i feel this house in two parts i think we're cutting into the next part right now where i just finish off the two other rooms that i hadn't done yet and add <laughs> a few more details in the house so this is going to be the bedroom it's going to have one double bed and the a wardrobe item and a mirror oh okay lots of mirrors actually <laughs> and then an easel as well um it's it's really <laughs> like I use a lot of brown in the wallpaper and the flooring with the wood panels or whatever they're called and but then I gave it a lot of color with all the paintings and plants as well <laughs> I don't know I think this build is just really cute and adorable and <laughs> I would love to know what kind of steam you think would live here and uh, we're just <laughs> adding a few more stuff on the roof because yeah, like I said, I took a break from building and when I came back I was like, oh yeah, I could add these little things and this and this. <laughs> and then I just make it look a li little bit more, I don't know, like like I said, it, that house just is very camouflaged. It looks like it's not even there. <laughs> Someone could be hiding in there. It's like a little hideaway as well. <laughs> My cat is in this room with me right now. I have more than one cat, and so this is another cat. This cat is not freaking out about being closed in a room. She's really cute. <laughs> if you want to see cat pictures or uh, just follow me in more ways than just YouTube, you can follow me on Twitter. I made a new Twitter recently, and my Twitter name is um, uh, SimmerKittenYT. So if you want to follow me on there, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I really love Twitter, but I haven't really used it in a while. So I'm, I'm glad I'm back with a new Twitter for this YouTube channel. Uh, this uh, room is almost done here. We just added a lot of paintings and mirrors, like I said, and then the easel as well. And yeah, I'm using these tiny little curtains as well. <laughs> I don't know, I just think uh, you need curtains in a house like this. Okay, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I have had a long day at work today. <laughs> it was my work uh, first day actually. It went, it went really well. I just got a huge headache after I got home, and that's why this <laughs> build is coming up really late tonight because I didn't wanna, I didn't feel like doing the voiceover when I was feeling uh, really ill. So, but now I feel a little, a little bit better. So I'm just doing the voiceover so I can post this tonight and then have another video for you guys tomorrow tomorrow I think I'm going to post uh, another room build that I already have recorded because I don't really have time to record today <laughs> oh yeah and I just saw the new little sneak peek trailer for the new sims expansion I believe city living I'm super super excited that <laughs> looks awesome and I love the 
CD pack from Sims 3, what was it called? Nightlife? I don't know. I don't remember, but the one, I think that one came with vampires as well, and it was like one of my favorite packs ever. I played with that so much, so I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like in The Sims 4. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to buy it the second it comes out. <laughs> okay, uh, here is the bathroom, and I really love this. Like I said, I used those big, like, stone tiles at the floor, and this brick wallpaper, and I added a tub instead of a shower, and then I made the wall behind the tub, like, green with those little, mm, like, wall bush items from the plant uh, category as well. And then there's this big mirror, and some paintings, and more plants. And <laughs> I'm just making, I think making the house look really cluttered is what makes, like, brings it all together and gives it the gives it the vibe that I was looking for. Sorry that I'm losing my voice a little bit here. <laughs> I sound a little bit weird. I don't always sound like this. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, sorry about it. Anyway, uh, we're adding some candles because I think those go with the theme as well. And then I think we just finish off the outdoors area after this because the indoors is pretty much done. So I use a lot of items from uh, the get together pack from Windenburg. I don't know, I think they just tie in really well with the wallpaper and the whole theme and yeah, I, <laughs> I just, I did uh, quite a lot of landscaping so none of this lot would be empty and there's just these big rocks everywhere that I use as like little, like, how do you say it? In like, as like, I don't know, big rocks, let's just go with that. <laughs> and then uh, just there's uh, gonna be uh, two seating areas here. I changed those benches to different ones in the end and then I'm adding the little uh, bird's house from backyard stuff back and then there's the little well. I don't actually have a romantic garden <laughs> so that's just a little well that came from get together but I think it's really cute and definitely goes with this build. <laughs> and then I'm just finding whatever items I think would be a bit old-fashioned and <laughs> what the little hobbits <laughs> would like to use or would like to put in their house, in their backyard. <laughs> anyway, I think we're close to being done here. We're just adding a trash can that I always forget to put outside. I think I forgot to put one inside. Oops, that's my bad. <laughs> then we added the, uh, what is that, like, pff, oh my god, what is the thing called? Like, where you get your post? Mail mailbox. That's that's the thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, my English is not great this time of the evening, or is it ever? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just add some outdoor lighting, a lot of it actually, to make it look really nice in the evening time as well. Just like some glowing lights everywhere. Here we go, adding these cute little lily lights. I don't know. I think they're lilies. I don't know. I think they're really adorable, <laughs> and they make the house look really nice during night time as well. And I think we're pretty much done here. We just, yeah, we changed the benches and I added some uh, ponders outside as well earlier. And yeah, I think we are gonna come up to the screenshots in just a second. <laughs> Apparently I had a few more things to add inside and a few more vines outside and just make it look a lot more green and I don't know. I think I really like this house. I hope you like it too. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Just leave any kind of comments. I love comments. I will reply to all of them. Anyway, we are going to come up to the screenshots now. Here is just the house from the front and from a few different angles as well. And you can see the tree on top of the house. <laughs> as I thought, I think the Shire has a tree growing on top of it as well. So that's why I wanted to add a small little tree there as well. And then you can also see the inside, how it's really cluttered and <laughs> just a lot of clutter items everywhere. I think it's really cozy and a place where a hobbit would probably like to live or your sim. You decide. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Have a nice day and bye!